Hey guys, this is Jace once again. I'm coming to you with some travel tips, this time about one bag travel. I'm not going to get extremely detailed into it, but I'm going to show you my setup uh, and how I do it. One bag travel is basically just that. You use one bag for all your travel needs. Um, if you've ever wanted to skip that check bag line at the airport, if you've ever wanted to breeze through security, um, if you've ever wanted to stop the battle royale that happens with the overhead space, everybody's jostling for position in there. Uh, if you're tired of people losing your baggage, man, one bag travel is for you. Uh, for some people that sounds like kind of a nightmare to try to put everything into one bag, but for me it's really fun to try to figure it out. My wife actually turned it on, turned me on to it, and um, I think that's kind of funny because she has lots of shoes and I don't. <laughs> but um, we've traveled all over the world. Just a real quick thing about me, I don't take any sponsorship money for any of these travel videos. Uh, I don't have any links to Amazon or anything like that that's giving me money. This is a really honest review of what I have and I have just have the gear that I think really works for me. Uh, whatever works for you works for you, but this is the stuff that really truly works and has stood the test of time and traveled to a lot of different countries. So uh, without further ado, the Flash 18 backpack. Now you notice I have a helmet clipped on the outside today uh, because I'm probably headed to Guatemala. That depends on if I get through on standby. Uh, they've kind of shut down a lot of airport activity coming out of there because there's been a lot of volcanic activity. We'll see if I can go or not. But my basic setup is based on the REI Flash 18 backpack. And I absolutely love this backpack. Um, not only is it a great uh, just personal item, because it really is something that just fits straight under the seat. Um, it'll fit things like Ryanair, which is have, they have ridiculous limits on uh, and dimensions on their their bag policies. Um, it's very rugged for me. I take this camping actually. I have an ultralight set up for when I go out in the woods. You can you can watch videos on that. I think those are a little bit sponsored. Um, but yeah, let's just let's just look at what's inside of it. Uh, well, first it's got all these great loops on the outside. So you saw that I could clip my helmet to it. Um, this very sturdy construction here. Um, I can hang things off of it as well. Um, one of the first things I did was kind of modify it to my needs, and I put like a compass and a a combination thermometer on the outside from REI as a zipper pull. It has one little pocket here, which I don't find very useful, uh, but I do go ahead and put my expander kit, and this is another mod that I've done for it because this bag was built to actually be wrapped around another bag and be used as a day pack. But for me, I can just take this and like if I have a large sleeping bag or something, I can roll it into a cylinder and put it along here. But I can easily expand this pack to add more things on it. I have um, four of these that I keep with me. Basically, I just took a dowel rod uh, and cut it into small links and, and did a quarter inch uh, drill bit through there and some paracord and cut and burn the ends and everything like that to get it to where I wanted it. So that's the first thing that's coming into my back. The straps by the way, some people actually complain about the straps. I don't and I'm, I'm a big dude. I'm 5'11 and like 240 pounds, something like that. Um, these don't bother me at all and uh, they don't cause me back pain or anything. It does have a hip strap in case you like that. I really don't care about it. I take this every day to work all the time outdoors. But let's go ahead and go in here. So, what's in my magic bag? Well, I've got my toiletries and my easy accessible right on the top because this isn't like most backpacks with a zipper. It's a drawstring top. And I like that a lot. Because if I have something that I need to poke out through that hole, I can. And it won't compromise anything else. But, anyway, 
I have my on top bag, and basically that keeps like here's my entertainment stuff in here. I've got a, a Nintendo uh, Switch, which is really great for boring long flights. I've got an international adapter. I don't need that for where I'm going, but I wanted to show you I could fit it. Um, I have an Apple World Kit that I use with my iPad charger, so you can actually interchange the sockets. So that's like a Europe or an Argentina. I forget which one this one is. Might be the same. And then I can easily put back on the US charger, which is what I'm going to take with me on this trip. I've got headphones, my little bag with scissors, a comb, a short lightning cable, and uh, a lighter. I've got a giant USB-C cable because I couldn't find a shorter one yet. And that charges the switch. I've got gum, some more stuff for the switch. I've got ibuprofen, earplugs, earplugs. You need earplugs. And then the bag. So there's that. Next, I have my boating gloves. I find these are really great. Uh, they keep you pretty warm, but especially if it's raining or something like that, these are these are always good. They have a lot of grip to them. I use them a lot when I kayak, and I think I just like them for that reason. I've got a tripod. Uh, yep. Yeah. Self-explanatory. Not taking that on this trip. And I've got some camera stuff. Like I've got um, a GoPro. It's a knockoff GoPro. What else have I got in here? Some more accessories for it, like a a tripod mount. And I've got a charge kit for it. I've got a, another memory card and a battery that I can use for whatever. So there's that. I have, now some of you people might have something like this, but there's a, uh, there's a CPAP as well. I've got in here, this is a travel hose for a CPAP. And um, that really is a cool thing. It's from, it's made in Israel, I think, or has it been in Israel? And uh, it's, it's an absolutely huge tube. I can show it to you kind of loud but yeah it's a pretty long tube and I got a, a CPAP as well in my uh, little V charger I have in here my compress sack, um, I never used to use these, but I am absolutely sold on this. This is a cheap 6 liter from REI, once again. You're going to think they're sponsoring me, but they aren't. Uh, I have two uh, wrinkle-free shirts in here, a couple pairs of unique low airism boxers, or boxer briefs, and uh, I have a Peshtamol towel. Peshtamol towels. You need one of those. They are absolutely great. Um, it'll dry like two people that are sopping wet. It's really fantastic. And uh, if you need like a, if girls, I guess, or I guess guys can do it too. If you need a cover up or something like that, definitely works for that uh, blanket, really light blanket, beach towel. Good stuff. Uh, this fits absolutely perfectly at the bottom of the Flash 18 pack. So I love it for that reason. Since I am... Since I don't know where I'm going exactly in Guatemala, I am taking a Sawyer filter. And uh, Sawyer water filters are amazing. I used to take the little pump ones when I would go to like Haiti or, or wherever. Um, and they they were compact for their time, but this is absolutely fantastic. I can even screw this onto a water bottle that I find and just suck out of it. Um, it is an amazing water filter, and this has come a long way. They're 25 bucks on where it, you know Amazon or whatever you want to do. At the 
bottom are my absolute favorite shoes, the Zero shoes, minimalist um, running sandals. They're just really light, flexible. For me, they're very comfortable. And I have a drawstring bag, very cheap, $5 store, wherever you want to get them. They expand your storage if you need to. Or if you want to leave your bag at the hotel, you can take that out with just minimal gear. And then, inside of the bag, they had like a little piece of foam to um, kind of be like support or cushion or something like that. It was pretty useless, so I took it out. And then what we're left with is what I put inside of it to cushion it. And I'll tell you about that in a second. The other thing I try to carry with me is a, a waterproof um, cell phone carrier. I'll put my, like if I'm just going for a run or something, or if I know I'm going to be out in some area that's really dirty or, or whatever, I'll put my phone in here. And of course, always, when you're traveling internationally, turn your phone to airplane mode unless you need it, because it will drain the battery instantly trying to find the cell tower. But anyways, I uh, put this, put my phone in here along with my driver's license and a credit card. Um, it works really well. I really like it a lot. I've had it underwater a lot too. This is an absolutely fantastic piece of gear. It's called a BCUSA Mest Poncho. It's kind of an emergency kind of survivalist thing. Um, but I'll just, uh, I'll go ahead and just put it on for you. Now, this poncho is absolutely bomb-proof. I had it in Patagonia with winds at like 40 miles an hour, sleeting and hailing, and nothing got through this thing. It was really amazing. I, it is short sleeved <laughs> so obviously my, my arms were covered with my like sweater or something under there, but nothing got through on this poncho. Um, it's absolutely fantastic, and if you notice, it has these little... Um, I guess tie-offs. Now that's because you can pull this apart and use it as a tarp to sit, uh, uh, to sleep under. And if you want to see what that looks like, you can actually go to my uh, bushcraft or trip videos to see uh, the Rich Mountain Wilderness. And I sleep under this. It is my tent. So uh, it's so it packs so small. Uh, it's really really amazing. Finally, uh, the pack itself is really packable, so if I have another bag, and on longer journeys I do pack a little bit larger of a bag, but you can, you can roll this bag to practically nothing. You could probably, even if, if you wanted, like cut the straps and get it down to a smaller size, but I mean, that is nothing. Uh, and to know that a bag this big and so versatile could fit inside of my bigger bag to expand it if I'm coming back with souvenirs or something like that, that's a really good uh, strategy for one bag travel. And that's why, incidentally, I also carry this little bag inside this one. It's an inception of, of kinds. Now, one of the cool things about it, and I'm going to read from my notes just a little bit, um, is that with Ryan Air, which is sort of like the bane of the existence of, a, of any traveler, uh, they have some very strict carry-on limits. The Flash 18 will fit into that limit very well. And so you should consider that if you're going on European travel. So uh, that is... Uh, a quick video on one bag travel. I'll give you something more detailed because it does take a little bit more thought than just smashing things into a bag. You really have to think about paring down to quality items that will wash easily or not retain odor or things like that. Things that are versatile uh, that have more than one use 
uh, things that are travel size but durable because if you get something travel size and it breaks it's it's just useless you shouldn't use that at all um, but I'll get more into that in a later video so I hope that was helpful for you um, if you want to like the video that's cool with me if not just have a great day